Hello guys, in this video, we are going to discuss the strategies that you can use and score well in your M4 exam. This video is for 18 scheme M4 students. To score well in an exam, the first strategy that you need to use is study four complete modules. So what four modules you should study? Let's discuss now. Okay, you should start your M4 preparation with module number three. Okay, in this module, there are only three topics. There are three main topics we have to cover. What is the first topic? The first topic is random variable. In this, there are only two to three types of questions they will ask. What is the first question? They will ask you to find value of k. They will ask you probability of x less than some number. x less than 6, x less than 7 or x greater than some number. x greater than 7, x greater than 8. The, the questions will be something like this. But there will be two questions on random variable that is 5a and 6a. In 5a, you will get a function where is a discrete. You will get a tabular com. You have so many x and there is a probability function given that is 5a. So 5a is very easy comparing to 6a because in a 6a you have probability density function. So you have to integrate to get the values of k and p. Okay, in this module, the second topic that is binomial and Poisson distribution. To do uh, questions on this topic, only requirement is you should know whether the question is binomial distribution or Poisson distribution. And also you should know the formula of binomial distribution and Poisson distribution. If you just know these two formulas and if you can say this question is from Poisson or binomial, then you can do questions on these two. And the last topic which covers is normal and exponential distribution. I strongly suggest to go with the normal distribution because normal distribution is asked in 5C. So 5A you will get a very simple question, 5C also you will get a very simple question. In these two one you have to read, just read both of that. So 5ABC is the question I recommend you to attempt first in a module 3, okay? So what will happen? Normal and exponential distribution. What is a normal distribution? See normal distribution there is a one basic formula, the only catch is there will be given values of 5, you should know how to use the values of 5. Okay, should just if you just know that there is a one basic formula, there is one little bit of visualization that you should do, then you can do easily the concept of normal distribution. Before going to the next module, let me tell you about the amazing book that we have uh, published recently. This book is called a video exam video scanner. This is previous year question papers and its solution book. Yes, this book contains all your previous year question papers and its solutions. And also not only that, every question in this book has a solution and every solution has a QR code. If you just scan that QR code, you're going to get the videos of us explaining the same video, right? Okay, this video is available on our website. The website link will be given below. The, we made this book so, so much affordable. And if you want the videos, there is one more upgrade plan you have to go with. With that, we also have an amazing hand-holding course where we teach all all these topics explained here on this video and much more we solve your doubts we have amazing video course video recorded course where we explain every single topic I'm explaining here with the hand holding support okay you can go to the uh, link below and check out our course okay let's move to the next module that you need to read okay the next module you need to learn is module number four this module is one of the easiest model in your M4 because the topics are curve fitting and statistical method Okay, there are two two topics, two different topics. In that, first topic is curve fitting. What are the questions they ask? They will ask you to fit a curve. What may be the curve? Y is equal to AX plus B. In this, there whatever the question, maybe it is a line, maybe it's a parabola, maybe it's an exponential function. All you need to do is find a variables. What is variable here? A and B, A, B, C and A and B. These are variables. So the questions they will ask is to fit a curve that may be y is equal to x plus b, that may be this, that may be this, right? These three, you have to fit a curve, there will be given one tabular curve where we have to uh, use x and y values, then you will get a two equation if there are two unknowns, so you will get a three equation if there are three unknowns, so if this will also will get a two equations. You just have to use the tabular curve and find. So this is one of the simplest topic that you can find, okay? The curve fitting is the first topic you need to learn. The second topic is statistical method. In the statistical method, the most and every time they repeat, there is a one question that time every time they repeat is this. Angle between lines of equation. Angle between lines of equation. It is a theta where there is a derivation. Please, please, please do this derivation so that you can get uh, easy marks over in this module. Okay. Angle between lines of regression. There is a theta tan inverse of some R1, R2 related kind of a thing. So you have to remember that formula so that you, you get this 100% marks. Okay. So next one. What is the next question they ask? Kind coefficient of correlation and equation of 
regression lines you will give a tabular com they'll give x and y value we have to find coefficient of correlation and also we have to find equation of regression lines okay that is the second type of question they ask the third type is there'll be two lines there'll be two regression lines we have to find the values of x and y and also we have to find correlation between x and y these are the question they ask in your module number four okay let's go to the next topic okay the next module that you need to learn is module number one in module number one there are three topics that the questions are repeated on so what are the three topics you need to learn let's look into it so first topic you need to learn that is derived cr equation that is kochi raymond equation this is one of the most important question every question paper they will ask you this so you have to learn this derivation properly okay in this derivation there are two kinds of a derivation one is cartesian and one is polar form polar form neglect it because it's a rarely asked you have to learn derivation of raymond kochi's equation in cartesian form okay let's go to the next one check if the complex number is analytical so how to check it there will be a function given as f of z right w is equal to f of z there will be a function given so what you need to do we have to check whether that is following the cr equation if the equation is following cr equation that has differentiable if that equation is a differential that means it is an analytical right so that is the second topic the third one you need to read and learn the topic is you have to find a complex function you have to find full complex function what will be given only u will be given or only v will be given or u plus v will be given or u minus v will be given so this much will be given you have to find entire complex function only one of the item will be given so, okay let's go to the next model that you need to read that is model number two okay the next model you need to read is model number two in this module what what topics you need to read let's look at them so first one is discuss conformal transformation in these two there are two uh, most asked questions or most for uh, conformal transformation they ask that is w is equal to z square and w is equal to e power z in this what you need to do you have to write uv in terms of x and y and also you have to plot accordingly okay the next one we have to do uh, the next topic you have to learn is find bilinear transformations you have to find bilinear transformation it is nothing but bilinear transformation is also some particular conformal transformation itself so what will be given z three values will be given w three values will be given and you have to know general form of bilinear transformation is w is equal to a z plus b by c z plus d once you substitute these values into it you will get four equations sorry there are four unknowns that is a b c d in the four unknowns if you substitute these two uh, these values into it you will get three equations so there are four unknowns three equations you have to solve your basic uh, linear algebra and you have to get a b c d values okay the next one derive Cauchy's theorem and also derive Cauchy's integral formula if you learn these topics you can uh, you can easily uh, score in the module number two i hope this video has helped you start your m4 preparation do not forget to check out our video exam video scanner in our website the link is given below if you like the video please do share this with your friends so help them as well if you're not subscribed to channel please do subscribe for more videos like this one thanks for watching all the best